Greetings to the Acoustic Energy family. I want to thank Dale and Joel for this privilege to be able to share with you. My name is Dr. Carlton P. Bird, and I'm the speaker director for Breath of Life Television Ministries and the senior pastor of the Oakwood University Church in Huntsville, Alabama. Oakwood University is honored to be a part of this special celebration today. And I'm honored that you've allowed the Oakwood University family to be a part. It is our hope and our prayer that you are blessed as a result of this ministry and acoustic energy and what it provides. Also, for Breath of Life, be sure to visit our website at breathoflife.tv or give us a call. The number is 256 929 6460 and learn more about Breath of Life and where we're broadcast in your area. May God continue to bless you and may God bless acoustic energy. We have to discuss something. Uh, yeah, definitely, because I'm, I'm a little distracted with what's so, happening. Yeah, me as well. So I'm going to start. Go ahead. So we're going to do a question and answer. I'm going to mm. ask you a question. You say yes or no. As will I. Okay. Do we discuss this show before we air it? Yes. Do we discuss um, the participants and everything that deals with the show? Yes. Do we discuss the clothing that we're going to wear on the show? Most times. No, no, no. It's a yes or no. Yes. Did yes. we discuss? Yes, esque. Yes. Did ish. we discuss what we were wearing this show? Well, I, I, no, well you're I, not being fair. Well, that's four questions. I'm going to ask Whoa, you I two. Didn't... Okay, fair. My two questions are. Who told you we were going to play at a church while you have a turtleneck on? Question one. You want to answer that? That's what I thought you were going to say. Question two. You've never worn a turtleneck. Why would you think we were going to wear turtlenecks to the show? And the last comment, because I know you have no answers for none of those two questions. The last comment is, just, you're going to get a hoodie too. Why? <laughs> just relax. You're going to get a hoodie. But you want to try to answer the first question? Oh, oh you don't know we're in a pandemic, so you... you like, we're not playing any... Oh, you had to play somewhere. I live in a place called Toronto, Got Ontario, it. Canada. Got it's it. cold. I'm just saying. And we discussed... We've been cold since 2019. You never wore no turtleneck before at all. But all of a sudden, you start lifting some weights. You want to wear turtleneck sweaters. This guy out here, turtleneck. Anyway, we, we got to move on. But this is something that should be discussed later on. I need some help to figure out why we were, we're very casual, you know, very relaxed. This guy out here, all you need is a double-breasted suit right now. That's all you need, a double-breasted suit right now. A nice gentleman boots. You know the gentleman boots? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You want to you wanna continue, sir? I think we've wasted... I actually don't. You can just go ahead. And... All right. I, 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 I this. Nice so group. this choir is called VOT, Voices of Triumph, one of the choirs that are a part of the Oakwood university family of music, uh, the musicians and choirs, right? They're dynamic choir, and they're all about music, ministry, and service. Their mission is to spread the love of Jesus throughout the entire world. Now, vo Voices of Triumph strive to exemplify the true spirit of worship. Their ministry is more than music. It's about changing lives. Hopefully, they'll change Joel's life so he'll not wear a turtleneck when we're wearing hoodies. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome, and I cannot wait to hear them, Voices of Triumph. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Owusu. I am the director of the Voices of Triumph Gospel Choir at Oakwood University. Um, just want to give a special shout out to Dale and Joel and the whole Acoustic Energy family. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, the song that you're going to hear tonight is the Total Praise Medley. Um, this is a medley that was put together by one of our previous directors and it just, it encapsulates the message of giving God everything that we have in worship and in adoration. So I pray that each and every one of you guys are blessed and are able to participate in this worship as you listen to this song.
that just means to agree. If you agree that from this moment on, you will give God your total praise, just sing, just lift him, lift his name up, worship him. Sing in agreement. Voices of Trial. Thanks for that reminder. You are, Lord, the source of our strength. You are the strength of our life. And we should keep our hands, keep our eyes focused on you. I lift my hands in total praise to you. As you can see, everyone, we did the best thing ever and we got rid of the other person who was not properly dressed for this show. So I am going to continue with Why introducing... Why talking and I'm not even like in the camera? Did you guys really start the show? Joel, so good to see you. So back. you guys are literally starting a show without me. Well, that's weird. No, so I was just. It, I just have a few quick questions, yes. and then we're gonna move on. Okay, all right. Yeah, did we discuss that we're gonna wear our acoustic NFB sweaters? Well, yes or no? Mm, no. Okay, so you went ahead and wore yours, but I wore what we discussed. I was gonna wear. You know, I just love went, the fact that you're here. That's you just... went and you told well, the world, because we have, how many countries watch us? A lot, okay, a lot. So you went and told lot. everyone, mm -hmm. and called me out, even though it's something that we discussed. Uh, cool, we're good. Um, I'm good, I'm good. Where are we in the show? Well, um, move, <laughs> moving forward. All right. I, I like I your choice. sweater. I just want to commend you on finding a sweater, and I want to compliment you on how good you look in the sweater. Like, Thank you. That is amazing. Uh, so we are introducing one of the best choirs I've ever heard in my entire life. One of the best choirs, um, these, this choir is none other than the Open Ale. None of them. Uh, they have a sound that is known around the world. Unmatched. And we would, we have to have, if we are having an Oakwood show, we have to have Oakwood. Have to. Aeolians. Have to, have to. We have to, to be able to honor yes, them. Yes, yes. They won so a Grammy. They won a Grammy. They sang everywhere. They won Best Choir in the World. Absolutely. They went to, there was another competition, Best Another Type of Choir in somewhere in Africa. And it's almost like every competition they're in with choirs, they win. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. we've said more than enough. Oakwood Aeolian. <laughs>
did you guys just hear that? Wow. Acoustic Energy is an online platform that aims to create a safe space for artists to share their stories, showcase their gifts, and express love to our creator in a global space. We are dedicated to helping improve our community through the arts. And this is why we rely on donations from viewers just like you. Your donations go towards helping us purchase equipment and fund the operation of this growing organization. So how exactly do you give, you may ask? It's simple. We invite you to send a donation using e-transfer or cash app to give at acousticenergy.tv or visit us on our website, acousticenergy.tv under the button give. And while you're there, it'd be great if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Together, we can continue to make AE an amazing reality. Enjoy the show. Hey, Joelle and Dale, and the entire Acoustic Energy cast, crew, and family. It's Dexter Smith, and I'm honored and delighted to be a part of this awesome worship experience. I want to encourage someone or share with you something that was on my heart, captioned, losing and being found. I'll start with a text message found in the book of Philippians 3, 7 to 11. That's in the New Living Translation. And this is the way it reads. I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared to the infinite value of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord, for his sake. I've disregarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count my own righteousness through obeying the law, but rather I become righteousness through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. And I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing his death, so that one way or another, I'll experience the resurrection from the dead. This is Paul who is speaking. And he's talking at a time where he's putting aside his success only to find success in his relationship with Christ. In our history, in 1856, Henry Box Brown a slave in Richmond, Virginia, decided that he no longer wanted to be a slave anymore. Henry Brown found himself a box, a small wooden crate, and postmarked it to an abolitionist in Philadelphia, which at the time was a free territory. Henry Box Brown got inside the box, sealed the box from the inside, and mailed himself to Philadelphia. Henry Brown was banking on the U.S. Postal Service to deliver him. He was in slavery and needed to be delivered. The abolitionist got the crate, and when he opened the box, Henry Brown stood up, and after being in that box for three weeks, he said, How do you do, sir? My name is Henry Brown. I was a slave, and I heard about you being an abolitionist, so I'm entrusting my future to you. His oxygen was at risk. His being discovered was at risk. His hunger was at risk. But when Henry Brown stood up in Philadelphia, he stood up as a free man. Henry Brown rejoiced because that risk was well worth the inconvenience. He put aside everything he knew for his own freedom. The Apostle Paul talks about winning and losing and how he left everything that he had at one point, all because of the, of the cause of Christ. God allows challenges to come in our life that seem devastating like this pandemic time and season. And it seems like we're losing everything and everyone we care about, even parts of our own core being. Perhaps we should take the view like Henry or like the Apostle Paul, who are able to see the bigger picture. 
They saw how worthless, or Paul saw how worthless the lost path of life was because he gained so much more. And I know what I've experienced during this season, and some of you, like me, realize that we're in some trying times. But I love me some Paul who says that all of this is but dung when compared to winning Christ. Losing anything else pretty much seems that way. So Paul states how much he's gained instead. And I've got to say this. During this time, there are some parts of us that will be lost only to be found in Christ by having a relationship, a true relationship, by intimately knowing him personally which will make up for all that we once knew before. And because Paul was willing to lose everything for the cause of Christ, he actually gained everything. So we can look forward to the resurrection. That means a time when we finally get our lives back and it makes up for all we once knew. Let me tell you, going back to post or to pre-pandemic is not what we need. I know it's hard losing things, friends, houses, jobs, freedoms, loved ones, and futures that we were pretty much planning on. Losing our sense of self, our mental capacity, our health, our hair, our eyesight. So many things that we didn't want to or don't want to give up or lose. But let's remember today that all of it, every drop, is dumb compared to what Christ will give us in a deeper relationship of knowing him. Every choice we make for Christ and in Christ brings us closer to him. It's an overall gain, no matter what it feels like. It's definitely not going to be fun, but we must focus on Christ and use this time to talk with him and understand him more and grow in your relationship with him. I'll tell you this will be able to overcome the greatest challenges. And to live a committed life as a Christian is well worth the inconvenience. May this devotion encourage and inspire you to grow in Christ. Be blessed. Amen, amen, amen. Next up, we will be hearing from none other than Stephen Manders, and decree. Now listen, he's no stranger to the Acoustic no, Energy family, but we could not do a show featuring Oakwood University and not make mention of this brother. This brother was probably the first. Is yeah, it? I think I, that's a, the, well, the first, first I saw. Mm -hmm, first I the, saw um, that did a virtual, virtual choir. choir and he did it right there at Oakwood University. He brought all the faces together, something that we were not, we were not privy to prior to that, that show, well, sorry, that service. Um, help me welcome Stephen Manders and Decree. <laughs>
come on, that's a good place to worship him. Come on, bless his name. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name. This is Oakwood University, a place where we put God first. Founded to provide the gift of knowledge and love to a world in need. Come study the world's troubles and solve them, like Dr. Milton Brown, who discovered healing medicines. Students come from across the country, from around the world, who want to enter to learn and depart to serve. Spend your years traveling around the world. We said we are leaders, so we lead. We stand out. We hear something is impossible, and we do it anyway. Everything we do, we do it as a team. Together, everyone achieves more. Together, the team accomplishes great feats, beyond what any one person could do. Experience Oakwood. OU. The Oaks. Oakwood University. After 120 years, we can never forget why we're here. We enter to learn and depart to serve. To put God first, that is our way forward. Success is in our roots. Come to Oakwood. Come. Come create and calculate. Shatter both records and social norms. Build improbable technologies and impossible futures. Unleash masterpieces and birth dreams. Come because there's much to be done out there and to be undone. Come find out everything of which you are capable. Come believe in someone greater than yourself an experience unlike any other awaits you here. Here is a place where your dreams can call home. Creative ideas await your strength. Come, answer this call. Join this family of believers and achievers. Put your grand imagination to work. Come let your vision rattle these walls and help move the world forward. Come to Oakwood. Yes, no, listen up. Starting out 1988, that's a long time, brother. There were a group of freshmen that came together um, at the Cunningham Hall. This was when it was Oakwood College. It's not Oakwood University. And this group was put together by my brother, Owen Simons. Now, they were trying to figure out a name at the time. And I think at that time, in 1989 approximately, they came up with the name Dynamic Praise. Now, this choir has traveled across the country and into international waters. They have performed and shared the stage with people like uh, Richard Small. Mm. We got Kirk Franklin. Yeah. We got Yolanda Adams. We got Donnie McClurkin. I could go on and CC on. CeCe Wine and Dottie Peebles, Byron Cage, Lamar <laughs> Campbell. Kelly oh, Price. Come on, Jonathan Nelson. many, Nelson. many, many, many more. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Dynamic Praise. Hey everybody, it's Bryce Davis with Dynamic Praise. I'm so excited for what's about to happen tonight. Big shout out to Dale, Joel, and the entire Acoustic Energy family. We're about to sing Hallelujah, You're Worthy to be Praised. Put your seatbelts on, it's about to be a great time. Let's go, right now, let's do it. Did anybody come to bless the Lord tonight?
Why are you sad? You sad? Why are you sad? I don't like when we come to the end of programs. I know. To be right? honest, that's I just don't like it. But we today finally was good. Got though. Today I, was good. I loved today's show. Today was good. Today I, I love was, every show. Today was on fire. There you go. Love it. I personally, first things first, I would like to thank the sponsor for our show, uh, Salient Auto Detailing. Yes. Thank you, uh, thank you for being a sponsor for this show. I'd also like to thank all of the artists, all of our artists. Uh, that came on this show. Voices of Triumph, the Aeolians, Dynamic, Dynamic Praise, Praise, Steven Manders. Steven Manders. Um, did we get everyone? Can we just thank the entire Oakwood University family? Thank you, family. Oakwood University, um, for all that you've done. A special thank you goes out uh, to Dean Knight, my uncle. Mm. Um, he was very instrumental in helping us. Oh, and uh, a big shout out show. to Pastor Bird. We didn't shout out Pastor, Pastor Bird. Bird. Very instrumental. Um, in the uh, entire Oakwood University family. Um, we do want to remind everyone to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Acoustic Energy TV. And of course, you know, feel free to contribute to this entire team, this entire ministry at give at acousticenergy.tv. And if you're watching outside of Canada, uh, you can use Cash App as well. And that is give at acousticenergy.tv. That TV is TV as well. Now, um, many people have contacted us in regards to birthdays. If you would like to get a birthday shout out, please just send us an email to acousticenergytv at gmail.com and we'll do our best uh, to give you a shout out. Yes. Now, there are two people that definitely need to get a shout out. Definitely. First uh, person, our band member, he plays over there. His name is John Roosevelt. You know, there's no. Yeah, no, he plays oh, okay, over okay. there. That's where he normally sits, but thought, he's not I there. Nah. He was there, but I just he was there. No, but that's when he's here, he's, he plays from right there. Fair? Because I, I didn't see him at all. John Roosevelt Frey, but feel free to call him Rosie. That's what I call him. Um, he's going to kill me. <laughs> he's going to kill me. Happy birthday, John. Happy and then, birthday. These are my parents. This gentleman right here is my father, um, whom I love dearly and has sacrificed so much. I just like to wish him a happy birthday as his birthday is coming up in a few days. So, Dad, happy birthday. Uh, we love you and appreciate you and thank you for all that you do. Do you have anything else to say? No, just, you know, it was good. Good to be here. Good to see you guys. And remember, tune in again whenever you see that Acoustic Energy promo. Make sure you're following us. That's the only way you're going to know what we have coming up next. And we have some top, Yo, top tier we stuff We got some stuff coming. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado... <clears throat> Ready?